Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 150. Now from here, what do we do? We can put these two together. So we have um, 2, 5 to the power of x. That is 5 to the power of x in two places. And this will be equal to 150. And then you can just divide this by 2, divide this by 2. This is going to go with this. And now 5 to the power of x is equal to 75. Now, the question is, is there any number we will raise 5 to to get 75? If you raise 5 to the power of 2, it gives you 25. Raise 5 to the power of 3, it gives 125. And that is already more than 75. So what do we do? To proceed, we are going to take the log of both sides. So log 5 to power x is equal to log 75 and then remember this law that log a to power m is equal to m log a so i'm going to apply the same law to this so that x will come first and we have log 5 equal to log 75 And then I can still progress because log five, x log 5 here is equal to log 75 is um, 25 multiplied by 3. Okay, and then remember this law again that says if you have log a multiplied by m, it is equal to log a plus log m okay so this is what it means now this means that x log 5 will now be equal to log 25 plus log 3 okay and then if this is the case you will also agree with me that this is x log 5 being equal to log 5 squared plus log 3 because 25 is 5 squared now what happens to the power i think we've explained that before the power can always go behind okay just like we have over there so we'll do the same thing now so that x log 5 will be equal to 2 log 5 plus log 3 this is what it means now to get the value of x divide all through by log 5 divide this by log 5 and divide this by log 5 this is going to go with this right and then this would equally go with this meaning that our x is equal to this place will be left with 2 plus log 3 over log 5 now let's look <clears throat> let's look at this law again if you have log a over log b because they have the same base this can be equal to log a to base b okay the denominator here becomes the base right so i'm going to do the same thing and i will have my x to be equal to 2 plus log 3 to base 5 log 3 to base 5 so this becomes the value of x but then since we don't want to have this in decimal how do we confirm our answer? 
Now let's go back to the equation where we got um, 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x equals 150. So what I will do now is to put in the value of x into this equation. Remember we say that x is equal to 2 plus log 3 to base 5. Now, to put this into this, we're going to have 5 to the power of 2 plus log 3 to base 5. And then plus 5 to the power of 2 plus log 3 to base 5. So we are now saying that will this be equal to 150? And then how do we make sure that this is equal to 150? Just sit back and learn. Now, we have 5. We have 5 here. We have the same number, the same um, expression. So we can just say we have 2 of 5 to the power of 2 plus log 3 to base 5. Okay? I hope this is understandable. So we're having 2, two of this. 2 of this. Now, what do we do again from here? Um, go back to this law that says log, um, how do I put this? If you have log um, 5, or let me use the letter. Okay, let's continue. We will not be using log because here we are going to use um, one of the laws of indices. So, the law says... If you have um, a to the power of m plus um, n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So I'm going to apply the same thing to what I have in the bracket. So I have 2, then multiply by here we have 5 to the power of 2, multiply by 5 to the power of log 3, to base 5. Okay, so that's what I have. And then from here, what do I do? Um, this is 2 multiplied by 5 squared is 25. Then multiply by... Do not forget that this and this can cancel and equally cancel the log. So 3 here becomes the answer. So we now have 3 over here. So that when you multiply this, it will now give you the 150 that we are trying to get. So this is to confirm that our x to be equal to 2. Okay, 2 plus log 3 to base 5 is very satisfying. Remember, this is plus. And now, I want to explain something more. Look at this. There's a law that says if you have... Um, a, a to the power of to the power of log log b to base a. Okay, if you have this a to the power of log b to base a, it is the same thing as b. So that is the same law that I applied over here. So five to the power of log three to base five is the same thing as 3. So that's how I got this 3. Thank you for watching.